Well, the storm knocked down plenty of trees across the state, falling on power lines, cars, and homes. News 8's Brittany Schaefer was in one New Britain neighborhood that had a very close call. New Britain's Department of Public Works responded to over 20 calls of downed trees Sunday afternoon. A few trees landed on a few houses, which it's private property, so unfortunately we can't touch it. Um, but a few cars did get damaged. The city had two DPW crews using utility vehicles, chainsaws and wood chippers to clear roads and sidewalks and were kept busy for hours. We'll brush out the tree first and then with our bigger loader and bigger equipment, we'll haul the wood away. Okay, tree. This 35 foot tree in New Britain has been blocking Betty Street for over six hours, giving DPW crews here a lot of work to clean this up. The good news is the tree fell away from the nearby homes and vehicles. No one got hurt. Um, it felt perfect so where we could come in and take care of it nice and easy. The storm brought damaging winds and also torrential rain. New Britain resident Michael Carbone was caught outside during the downpours, fishing with friends in Plainville, and said the drive home was difficult with a lot of flooding. We got soaked, all of our equipment got soaked, and then we had to drive home through it. There was a lot of like floods and stuff, all the water was splashing everywhere, everyone had their hazards on. It was very hard getting home because we had to drive very slow. And while the back-to-back -back stormy weekends put a damper on plants, others like foreman Michael Fulfer have been going non-stop. We've been very busy with these uh, two, three, four storms in a row, yeah. Lucky, Hurricane like season. In New Britain, Brittany Schaefer, News 8.